In the everyday visual language of 19th century Bengal, the cat and prawn motif stands out as one of the most seen and recognized images. On the surface, this motif appears simplistic, but a closer understanding of its context reveals an embedded social critique. In this video, we partner with the Victoria Memorial and look closely at two of these interpretations. A Kali Ghat painting from Victoria Memorial's collection and the other a painting by Jamini Roy from MAPS collection. This is a Kali Ghat watercolor painting from the Victoria Memorial Hall collection, which dates back to the middle to the late 19th century. The credit for making this motif popular goes to the Potua painters of Kali Ghat which is an area in the southern part of the city most well known for its Kali temple. In the early 19th century, wandering storytellers and painters from the nearby villages moved to this part of Calcutta, selling their paintings as religious souvenirs. But over time, the artists moved beyond religious themes to current affairs and social satire, leading to the popularity of motifs like the one that we are discussing now. This duo represents one of their most favorite objects of ridicule, the hypocritical Hindu Brahmin, who, although he has supposedly renounced the world, continues to indulge clandestinely in the pleasures of the face. If you look very closely at the forehead of the cats in these images, you can even spot a Vaishnava caste mark. With its origins in the 19th century, this unique image has transcended space and time to reach us today. Chamini Roy and his art needs no introduction. An average Bengali household is likely to have three things in common. A portrait of the Saint Ramakrishna, one of his disciple Vivekanand, and a painting by Jamini Roy. One can imagine this arrangement suiting the artist rather well, for Jamini was a lifelong advocate of making art accessible to the masses. Today, he is recognized not only for his contribution to the revival of Bengali folk art, but also for transforming traditional idioms into one of India's earliest modernist visual expressions. While the cat from the Victoria Memorial has a certain fluid naturalism to it, Roy's cat is toy-like. The lines are rounder, the eyes are goggle-like and cartoony, while the overall treatment of the figure is non-realistic. Look at it a while longer and you almost want to cuddle it. The singular sweeping brush strokes that add depth to the figure are an invention of the Kali Ghat painters, later borrowed by Roy. He has also taken the liberty of converting the prawn to a fish. The inherent meaning of the image, however, remains the same. As a genre, Kali Ghat paintings are characterized by the use of bright colors and bold outlines. While the body of the cat in Jamini Rai's work is rendered in plain white, in this painting, the cat is in a bright yellow with black spots and light blue eyes. There are hints of shading around the outline of the cat's body. In addition to the use of light and dark shades of blue, to depict the flesh of the prawn or fish. And this gives some texture, some figural volume to an otherwise flat composition. The background is left plain white, absolutely plain, uh, which keeps the focus on the central figure. And that's a shift away from the scrolls that these potwas were known to make. There is an argument given by some scholars that this is probably influenced by the British natural history paintings. But given the pressures of mass production, it was likely easier and quicker to leave it just plain like that. For me, the most enchanting part about this work are the colours. As with every Jamini painting, it is coloured with natural dyes and pigments. The background is painted flat in a rich mix of burnt sienna and cinnamon brown while lemon yellow motifs borrowed from alpanas that are traditional floor decorations in Bengal add a happy contrast. The body of the cat itself is left blank, while the ray's tail is a playful mix of multiple colours. Roy's art was also influenced by terracotta toys which is especially prominent in the treatment of this work on board. 
The iconographic formula of the cat with the prawn or the fish in its mouth is said to be influenced by the very popular Bengali proverb. Biral bale mach khabona, ash chobona, kashi jao. Which translates into English as a cat taking the vow that it will not have fish, it will not even touch non vegetarian food, and that it will go to Kashi, that is Benaras, the place for widows. And yet, as the painting shows, it eventually succumbs to its cravings. Today, descendants of the original Kalighat painters continue to use this motif. Handmade paintings and prints of the image are sold everywhere, from annual craft festivals to stores in the many malls around the country. But perhaps more interesting is to witness the cat and prawn duo turning into GIFs and memes today, thanks to the range of possibilities provided by technology and social media. And so the circle is complete. A clever image inspired by the everyday and born from within the masses returns to them in a new avatar. What role and form will it take next? That is the surprise that art promises.